Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Polish campaign. We are the Poles. That's the right word for it, right? I was getting ready to declare war, and uh, I think we're about ready to do it, really. France doesn't want to join us in this war, it's too distant. Um, not going to name Nofrod as a co-belligerent, simply because I don't think we need to. I'm going to get our morale up first. Might not be a bad idea to wait until we have this final idea done so that we can get our extra morale. That would be pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll just wait a little bit. A couple more months wouldn't hurt. How are we looking on things like conversion and autonomy? So we have quite a few provinces that have autonomy since we integrated them. Um, perm, mostly. Looking at the autonomy map mode, all of this is actually pretty pretty high autonomy. The unrest is still negative. We don't have any tolerance since these are orthodox, but in just a moment we're about to pick up another three tolerance, which will bring our tolerance to... Right now we're exactly at zero. So it'll bring it up to, um, to positive three, which is the highest that it's allowed to be. So we'll actually have... Unrest reduction in those, we can probably afford to lower the autonomy. And even if we don't, we are seeing a autonomy decrease of 0.2 per month. I want to move away from the same, I want to change our government type. Unfortunately, unfortunately, our power projection is down. So close to 50. Do we have a few more boats? Maybe we can make another vote or two. Alright, hold on a second. What's that all about? No, we can't make more boats. We can take the final idea, though. Let's do that right now. So, Tolerance of Heathens goes up by 3. Tolerance of Heretics goes up by 3. Tolerance of Heathens was at negative 2, now it's going to be at positive 1. It's a pretty amazing swing. We also pick up minus, minus idea cost. We also pick up 15% reduced or increased morale, which also affects morale damage. So all in all, massive change. And we should probably see revolt risk over here. Um, well, that won't update to the end of the month, but... Plot against Zygimantis de Valois. 50% chance that he dies or we can arrest him. Do we want him to be our heir? Not really. It's not really a big deal. Either he dies or France dislikes us. And if France dislikes us, will the alliance break? Probably. Alright, guess we have to take this stability hit. Staying Catholic, I think, was probably the best thing we could possibly have done, being an elective monarchy. This, the, all the free stability we've been getting from papal influence has been incredibly useful. Alright, well, we have the ideas. We have a lot of maximum morale. Could be better, but 4.2 is pretty good, considering we don't have... Uh, Level 15 military tech. That'll be the next big improvement. Can we kill this army pretty easily? 5-4, tech 12 versus tech 13. We've got 115% discipline. I don't believe Novgorod has any discipline modifiers, do they? Doesn't look like it. We would be attacking into the forest. Unless we move in here and then force them. Yeah. We're going to move into the war leader, like the, the war goal, and then force them to just come engage us. Let's back you guys off. And if they want to wander around in the winter, we will let them. Oh, a statesman. He's more useful to us right now, since we're integrating. Triple C integration speed there. Okay. We will bring back our guy from the Papal State again. Let's go ahead and do this. It's too bad France doesn't want to help, but... 
So you move in that way, you move in that way. You come here so that you can potentially defend both. That is not our fleet. Novgorod has heavies, so we're going to have to back off our ships. For now. And I really only care about taking Ingermanland from them. I don't want to take a huge amount of land. I want to make it a quick little war. Just get some... Get some land into Curland. You know. Get them siege and stuff. Or, uh, coring stuff, rather. Curland is on Tech 13 as well. They're going to get intercepted in the plains. If I move in there, are you going to stop? No, you're not. I don't I don't want to fight him in the plains. Are you going to suffer a river crossing? Poor maneuver, so no, you're not. It's just a flat battle on the plains. No, I'd rather not take that fight. Curland, you're a dummy. You're on my vassal. You should be attaching. Come attach this army. Don't do anything else. Yeah, I'm more than willing to let them just suffer some attrition here. Although they have... Wow. They actually have quite a bit of siege progress already. Like, quite quite a bit of an ability. Almost take that down. Turn religious centers keep on converting my lands. Pretty good war chest in the bank. Um... I don't want a forced march. Let's just keep on parking big armies nearby and see if they want to come engage one. I'd really prefer to be the defender, although being in the plains is not really what I had in mind. Let's move into their ca- oh, this is perfect. We'll move into their capital. And, uh, it's forest. We'll just take up defensive terrain in their capital and, uh... Let's call them at 34. We're just suffering normal attrition. It is the middle of summer, which is good. Yeah, if they if they want to come fight us, we'll fight them. There. That's that's perfect actually. Taking their capital will really cripple their morale or their uh war enthusiasm. Too many men have attached to us here. Let's move to uh the Livland. We'll have the backup troops here. We might lose this control. Might lose control of that province. I'm not too worried about it, though. Okay, more conversion, uh, you. We almost get a free stability. It's only 107. We might want to just go up to, uh, positive three stability. I think I might. Oh, did I never... I never actually did that claim on Vidin. We have a diplomat free, let's go do that. So since we did not declare Novgorod as a co-belligerent, this will take 20 war score to conquest. And we'll need to negotiate it separately, I think. Okay, you're moving into the plains. I don't see any reinforcements. I think we can take this army off of their capital. And let's see. So we've got a 0.5 morale advantage and 115% discipline. So we got quite a bit of tactics. Not to mention, something I don't even usually factor in is that we've got the Eastern Hussar, the Winged Hussar Cavalry Combat Ability modifier. Does that show up in here somewhere? Yeah, Cavalry Combat Ability 33%. Do they have anything like that? No. They have no modifiers to infantry or to cavalry. So, we don't, we don't even need to send that many men. <clears throat> well, 
Well, if that's the case, um, pretty sure we just routed the majority of their army. Let's go ahead and let our vassals be aggressive. And let us... I guess we'll continue to siege things, but I don't really want to um, do too much more. We could force to march and chase their army down and actually just stack wipe it, but... Um, that would be forced marching through the winter pretty far away. Well, I think... Hmm. Now here's the tricky thing. It worked with Riga because it was a one province minor, but I think if I transfer control of both to Kurland... Didn't I, didn't I just run into this issue with Perm? Wasn't that like why somebody else still existed, I think? I distinctly remember telling myself, like, note to self, don't do that. No, that doesn't make sense. I should still be able to do it. It's when it's a secondary partner. Let's say the roles were reversed. And I wanted to negotiate with Novgorod for the full annexation of Peskov. Would that not work? No, I don't, I don't remember. I actually don't know. I know for sure that if I chance the occupation of this thing, then I would be able to integrate it. That they would take it. I could just go talk to them. And, uh, it's fine. If I don't do it, though, they won't be able to core it. I don't even know that I could sell them this province. Hmm. Let's get a diplomat back. That'll help me to determine kind of like what the situation is. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Looks like we're almost there. You're a paper tiger, Novgorod. 21,000 men? That's nothing. I think we're overdue for a war with the Ottomans. So we'll go ahead and take that mission. Alright. They are continuing to uh, cause some problems over there. We have enough papal influence. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll go all the way up to level 3 stability. Beautiful thing. We have a diplomat free. Alright, so as it is right now, if I were to take this, then that's fine. I can't take full annexation, because the total peace cost is too much. I'm going to risk transferring it to him again. I still don't know if I've learned how this works properly. No. See, I messed it up. Now it's not on there. Well, we're going to have to separate piece Snowfgrod now. For sure. If I give this to Kurland, 
And then I talk to Novgorod and I just say that, hey, the only thing I want is Ingermanland to go over there. Then that will be what we actually go for. Saxony's done. You're moving into Neva. Let's grab a leader. Reinforce. Something got converted. Darn country. Peace offer from Vyskov? No. You'll be there on the 19th. We'll be there on the 17th. You really want to take that fight, huh? We'll bring some more guys over. It's flat terrain. 5-4 versus our 5-2, but we've got him on the run. Nice, easy fight. Okay, Novgorod, are you ready to give up that one province? Not quite. Very close. Just a siege or two away, I think. Novgorod. Just give it up, man. It's not even that big of a deal. It's just one province. Okay. We'll take your money. If possible, war reparations would be nice. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to give us your money, you're going to give Ingermanland to Kurland, and that's all fine. Okay, go away, you. Now we're at 100%, and I, yes, I can only take the one province. See, I knew I was doing it wrong, I just wasn't sure. Full annexation was on the list earlier, but now it's not. And I don't think there's anything I can do to have them give it, to give control back to me. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm just gonna take the one province then. For Kurland, and they'll just have to deal with the rest. Just have to take the other one later. They won't be able to core it, but... Whatever. Now you're still allied with Novgorod, and you're still allied with Sweden. So now, if we attack Sweden, and we name Novgorod a co-belligerent, I believe... No, we can't, because we have a truce. Okay. Still, we could go to war with Novgorod again. Kind of weird. Alright. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.